Hello everybody, and we continue our beginner's guide uh, with another account with my original Heroes Only challenge. And, uh, I will force, forcefully uh, play uh, as much as high as I can with just four original heroes, but I have two monks and uh, simultaneously I will make a separate guide, but uh, in this guide I will just briefly tell you that uh, you for absolutely sure will need two monks, and uh, in any case uh, that you play, either you play normally with the Evamon build, Evamon build that I have uh, on my channel new meta builds, and uh, either if, if you play uh, or accept uh, this hard challenge to play as four original heroes only, doesn't matter, you will need uh, two monks. One is a hero damage monk with a hero damage on your bottom with every single. Uh, spot of your uh, armor set and uh, with the damage dealing uh, weapon with heavy for four, five, four uh, per second uh, uh, projectiles and five projectiles at once and the uh, thunder strikes and the blow burn strikes that's how it made and with uh, focus power first fire but they both are with focus power first fire but here we have uh, one free slot for either Billy or controller or mini boss, uh, some anti that will give us 1.6 more uh, x 1.6 more damage, 60% more damage versus some kind of types like uh, mini boss or melee and so and so, so, so on. But uh, not only uh, like uh, upper. Uh, like uh, gloves, helmet, like our armors and uh, weapon should be different. Uh, let's check and show our second one, Montan. Like uh, as we all know, has strong assassins are the main problem on high floors. So that means that we need server mobility, hero health everywhere, and the same absolute same shards as we have um, on our DPS monk. I didn't find unit uh, still like our uh, DPS monk have drain stands have uh, heroic power gilded and uh, like our uh, Motank won't have it but the main priority is not just health it's not uh, heavily health like uh, we have barbarians for sure that have 4 mil uh, health and so on and so on but the main uh, point is just to survive and uh, if we want to survive we want to survive as strong assassins because we cannot uh, survive uh, it's just a matter of floor and uh, how many assassins will kill you one a day and you occasionally will still meet, especially on, uh, on some hard uh, floors. You can reroll like uh, 100 of maps and still get uh, not <laughs> right uh, modificators but uh, still have strong assassins but uh, that's not a choice of real men. Like, uh, I advise you just to face Castron assassins and kill them. Uh, for for uh, for sure, we won't have ability of uh, anything that lies uh, beyond, like uh, poison plus uh, earth petrify combo will still do nothing to Castron assassins. And uh, uh, th th this means that we will still need to somehow. Uh, kill that has on assassins and uh, the way is ice plus drench if you have ice weapon the only way of our ice weapon is uh, only ice to your right and drench to your left ice plus uh, drench gives you froze freeze combo that can freeze even has strong assassins even has strong anyone so it freezes everyone uh, and everywhere but it freezes only if you uh, strike him with your main hand weapon and uh, once uh, you you can free them, but the problem is when Hetron Assassin is on your friend, uh, you can for sure uh, do anything and uh, help your friend with uh, your strikes out of this ice plus range. But if Hetron Assassin uh, uh, shackle you, if Hetron Assassin is on you, you cannot do anything. But if you don't have tenacity. 10 out of 10 that gives minus 25 percent duration of negative status effects on uh, being a house 8 uh, even 0 out of 5 uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 out of 10 gives minus 25 percent so you need all four tenacities everywhere on everywhere every single piece of your gear and uh, every single piece of your gear should be graded uh, to house 8 at least 0 out of 5 that this means uh, that in sum the, it will be right 100 persons tenacity and uh, this won't mean that uh, assassins will stop 
firing you, but it will mean that even if assassin will start striking you, you can still uh, uh, repair, you can still do your business, or you can still uh, fire, or you can still uh, be able to uh, swing your sword, swing your polyarm, and uh, be able to apply your ice plus drench on that assassins. And even if some loss of uh, assassins uh, come on you, you will still freeze them and uh, uh, leave on your node that will kill it. Uh, that's all concerning Montank. I will make another guide that will uh, uncover it more uh, in, in in better way that I did right now. But uh, we need two monks not only because of uh, uh, we need Montank and DPS monk. That this uh, DPS monk I mainly use just to like kill rollers, you know, and so on, and so on. Because my Montank <laughs> have not uh, enough DPS to kill rollers, uh, something like this. But still have enough DPS to spread uh, thunder and blow, to spread drench, to spread uh, and to kill some like flyer lanes, to spread frost fire and so on, and so on. So m most of the time I'm playing on my Montank, and uh, if if I see that everything all right, I switch to my DPS mode and kill some lanes on it. Uh, Okay, so we need uh, two months, not only uh, because we need our um, uh, uh, armors and our DPS and our hero health abilities, but we ha should have uh, two different flame hours at least. Uh, one flame hour is the DPS power flame hour, like with mass destruction destruction, and uh, like I show here. And uh, second flame aura should be for sure over cup flame aura. Like I show here, uh, we have two defense rate to the left, defense rate to the right. It's not, sh it shouldn't be uh, 10 out of 10 for sure. Uh, that I will make another guide uh, about uh, overcapping. Uh, or with overcap, we have a table in our wiki that you need like eight, nine, or uh, like eight or nine sometimes uh, defense rate. It's fairly enough just to have ungilded defense rate. But if we, if you want, you can put gilded defense rate to your left, and uh, any defense rate to your right it should be okay. This defense rate uh, are differs like flame aura. Uh, my main DPS flame aura is 1.3 million DPS, and uh, this overcapped flame aura is only. Uh, like uh, half of this uh, DPS, like 700 million DPS, and I w I just recently upgraded it to house eight, but uh, I was playing with it like when it was like 500 million DPS, and it's still enough to cover this DPS one. So if we have some lanes with frost orcs, we just put some something like this, maybe two flame auras on your on your front, and maybe one flame aura, good. Flame aura. If we have flyer lanes, let's say, we in one boost node with destructive pylon, that mean this means that these two flame hours will still burn uh, 1.5 million. Will still burn uh, fr uh, frost orcs and kill them. And uh, the second flame aura is 2.5. Will still burn frost orcs, but will freeze uh, with them and uh, we'll still kill the main purpose is to kill flyer lanes and we all see that uh, i use automation instead of uh, you could you can use the deadly strikes so on your second flame hour you should use deadly strike better but i mm, i'm playing and uh, most of time i need tenacity on it because it's uh, um, it's on the same node i don't have yeva in this build uh, means that cyber is a problem for me. I don't have reflect with tenacity. This means that I personally I need something with tenacity, and this something is uh, uh, flame hours that face frost planes and face cybers uh, and their own. Like I put like three flame hours without boost node because it will be turned off uh, out from cybers and just destructive pylons that's inside LSA in my build. I it's absolutely. Um, it's, other story i don't advise it but uh, for your beginning and understanding this concept of game i will just show you that uh, you can have t uh, flame aura with automation any level of automation it could be first level uh, makes uh, any defense becomes 100 percent tenacity and uh, immune to any kind of kursikazi any kind of tybers and uh, and so on. So uh, that's 
why I have two two monks. Uh, I have two uh, two fl two uh, flame hours, and secondly, I have two different boost hours, and uh, that's we started to talk about the main problem of the game. I will tell you the main concept of the game now. When you, after our previous beginners guide, we can now make house seven any relics with just Lemaura and LSA or just LSA spam. It's okay, but uh, what to do next? Uh, the next uh, m majority point to do is to uh, first of all understand what this game is up to. The game is uh, philosophy of the game is pretty simple. You have uh, like lots of mobs uh, like lanes with 200 like dreadborn hole 229 mobs uh, even 300 mobs a lot of fresh mobs that uh, are coming from every lane and that can easily be uh, countered by just few flame hours like three flame hours with Korok uh, Destructive Pylon can cover and kill uh, almost any lanes. You can see me beating uh, 400 floors with, with no ancient powers, with no barbarians, with no anything, and uh, with just Flame Hours and LSA. And uh, uh, Flame Aura can cover our needs to kill crowds of enemies, and just LSA is uh, good enough to just uh, kill big. Uh, big enemies that all we knew from our beginners guide uh, previously but uh, for now we should empower them and uh, uh, we first of all we need uh, um, our some something to our right uh, despite our defense rate so we need some mods and uh, we have tons huge tons of mods like uh, I don't know maybe more than 100 mods but most of them are, uh, um, are in uh, uh, covers in three main categories first category is uh, support uh, mods and support mods can be piercer like uh, range uh, range on this so like defense range piercer and uh, at kind of attunement like uh, if you put fire oil uh, sorry fire storm water on, on any kind of defense uh, like i have here a storm to your right and any kind of uh, unique UI class um, tenacity is for sure and uh, like like we have on this LSA tenacity is uh, support so uh, mods that won't give you uh, any anything uh, with your DPS or with your uh, damage and uh, for sure if you, you don't know we can always put any kind of mod it's three modifications that we could put on any other defense, like re remove from this and this def relic will be destroyed. We find a lot of different relics uh, upon our journey and uh, uh, these mods are same as just items. These mods, we just look in into them and uh, see if we have good tenacity or good defense rate. We put, put this good uh, mod to our relic to your, our right and uh, we will have this uh, property on our relic and uh, uh, after our six type of support uh, uh, mods we have uh, anti mods anti mods uh, like increase our damage previously pre nerf it was uh, plus 60 percent of damage to a certain type of enemies uh, upon reaching 10th level right now it's nerfed to 46 persons of damage but it's still viable and uh, okay like my flame hour is doing like twice more damage uh, or even more anti uh, versus some kind of enemies that is uh, uh, in, at the same time melee and house and we all know that house are seven times of uh, enemies it, it, this can be lady orcs they are both melee and house that can be uh, cyborgs they are both melee and house and uh, the, this uh, can be um, uh, assassins that are both melee and house and so on so we will give uh, some we have two spots of mods for and uh, for anti uh, coverage that will increase our damage even more than, than we have uh, without it but uh, and the third type of um, mods uh, are diversities uh, about diversities i i was telling talking in my uh, another part and uh, i will explain uh, this change of this uh, different 
um, philosophies of the game. So, first of all, uh, on your uh, reaching of the game, you will need anti. Uh, to increase your power, you will need some anti, uh, good antis, uh, any levels, but because they rise pretty fast. And uh, the main uh, point of antis are that you place uh, most of ah, uh, 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 most of time you place lots of copies of your defenses, like uh, several flame hours. If you don't have enough damage, you place two or three and you can watch it on my streams that I place usually I remove uh, deadly strikes out of flame hour to decrease its uh, range to 1000 and uh, place just three three uh, flame hours it, it's possible to place four flame hours in one node put put good boost hour and then uh, put uh, deadly strikes um, back so we have three flame hours 2.5 million 7.5 million flame hours that is uh, can multiply by two at least so 15 million dps in this node that is uh, on tier one that can be tripled with upgrades and uh, this uh, 15 million dps is against most of units uh, like lady orcs uh, cyborgs and assassins and uh, and uh, more vanguards uh, geodes i think and so on so uh, if we lack of some dps uh, we should uh, put just put another portion of flame hours or lsa's uh, that we want uh, to spam like like this and the uh, diversity won't work at all if we place lots of copies every single copy of something makes diversity lose one unique property and uh, but anti mods work here and now and that's why i, I do i do recommend uh, anti mods after you after your you reach house seven and uh, upon rising your levels and upon rising your floors upon rising your uh, gathering your materials gathering your shards because shard uh, gilding is way way too long process and uh, you will never achieve a lot su such my such uh, big amount of uh, uh, metals that we will shout everything on on your uh, on your side that you will still need more and more metals to shard uh, to guild some more shards that you have and uh, once you gain some power uh, you finally can come to conclusion that you can replace your diversities but i will uncover it in my next beginner's guide so first of all i recommend you to put some antis to your flame aura and the main majority right now main focus is just to increase your damage from flame aura it will be mass destruction destruction deadly and uh, flame uh, lsa aura uh, flame aura is as a killer of flyer lanes as a killer of most lanes and uh, the second is uh, just to upgrade your uh, lsa with 3x anti it's mostly from uh, bosses boss house orc like lady orcs and so on and uh, uh, orcs uh, for sure but you can put any uh, entities here and uh, destructive pylon but destruction defense rate Th that's all that i advise you right now you even don't put any boost hour and so on so you just increase your flame aura note uh, upon our beginners right previously we will have now like uh, uh, two or three times more dps are coming out of these entities and uh, these huge uh, flame hours of course we should uh, I, I told before that we have three main points of the game like flame hour kills crowd lsa kills uh, big bosses or maybe lady wars or maybe a uh, big chunk of uh, like uh, lava guardians big big mobs that uh, are not killed by flame just flame aura and uh, we should uh, on the third point we should cover this with crowd control Na uh, i advise natural crowd control out of poison dark tower and uh, just shutter uh, shutter i we don't need to use them as our main dps source because they have like 2 2.7 million 1.5 million it's low amount of damage but you can see that uh, on my videos that uh, especially with explosive poison i will make another uh, few videos with showcase of explosive poison that's absolutely mandatory for for poison dot towers um, uh, you can put sometimes vampiric empowerment here and i will show another guide uh, when you choose either to put explosive or vampiric 
but for most cases you to control crowd you should use explosive poison and it doesn't matter what is inside your poison dart tower but i recommend just to use defense rate pf sir and nothing more yeah you don't need control and you don't need anything just pf sir and the defense rate and uh, sh shutter shouldn't have um, Shatter for absolute sure should have first stores because it makes it not single target but AOE and the main majority that it applies earth damage to AOE to 320 damage radius AOE and it's it's not working like it comes AOE tower it's some works uh, kind of weird sometimes uh, that uh, full uh, HP mob uh, start start to jump out of your stores and that it's impossible because it should knock tags into the, and uh, it, it should have some damage on them but it uh, won't have any damage but it doesn't matter we need earth stores just to make earth, earth shutter tower comes aoe and uh, crowd control tons of enemies so pdt tower comes aoe out of explosive shard uh, explosive poison shot and uh, 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 shutter. Uh, it's absolutely mandatory. Erstos is absolutely mandatory in our shutter. Otherwise, it will be um, just single target and uh, no sense uh, defense. And uh, otherwise, does that matter? Don't you don't need shutter quake? I did it uh, long before when it was uh, applying. Sometimes applying for fire remnants. Now I think it's fixed, and uh, you don't need. Uh, destruction don't need defense rate gilded you can have just defense rate to your right and that's all no antis no something just pdt and uh, shutter quake just to make uh, crowd control and make flame aura and uh, lsa make their job so that's your priority to make pdt shutter and uh, flame aura and lsa and uh, we have uh, too much destructions like i show and uh, the second point is uh, other than uh, sim simultaneously with joining some anti mods on your flame aura and some anti mods on your LSA, you should get d uh, two uh, main hyper shards it's uh, mass destruction and uh, destructive pylon. Uh, we have uh, a table that uh, you, you can achieve them uh, from two sources. First source is mastery. When you achieve 50 mastery points, very easy achievable, you just need to gear up a little like uh, on your uh, squire to have one ballista uh, like on P have one pdt have flame aura and so on so on so uh, once you uh, gear a little after expedition 7 you can stride go and win 50 uh, maybe i will g make a guide uh, another guide if you want feel free to leave your comments below but i think it's very simple to make 50 points in mastery and you get mass destruction you get mass destruction right from your uh, very first 50 points that is achievable by literally everyone. You put this mass destruction either to LSA or Flame Aura. I recommend better to LSA. And uh, with this good LSA, with some antis inside, with uh, mass destruction, destruction, defense rate, you can make some prime incursions. And second source of uh, second copy of all hyper. You can get all hyper shards upon reaching, upon uh, making every single mastery point. But uh, another copy of every single hyper shard, you can, uh, you go out of prime incursions. And uh, at, at each level of prime incursions, we will have, uh, we have a table in Wiki which uh, uh, do, uh, tells you which prime should, should you finish uh, to gain um, according. Uh, uh, hyper shard, second copy of hyper shard, and upon reaching all and beating all the primes, all six primes, uh, you get second copy of mass destruction and destructive pylon. Is, is if I remember right, it's like prime four or prime five, Destru uh, prime four or prime five in uh, prime incursion. So on this account, I made only, as you can see, I made only. 50 or 60 i don't know why stars 50 uh, stars uh, masteries i got one mass destruction and uh, then i finished every single prime uh, got every single copy of uh, uh, hyper shard and got second mass destruction so, so that's it i have my destruction on film hour and my destruction on my lsa and that's all you need and then you can upgrade this setup to house eight after you reach uh, this 
state, you build just 3x anti uh, on your LSA, 2x anti on your flame aura, must destruct from destruction, defense rate 10 out of 10 to your right, absolutely mandatory, otherwise it won't have uh, speed limit, and just PDT plus earth shatter, that will cover most of things that you need for now, and uh, with such big amount of power you can make, you can place huge tons of defense, like on 200 defense you can place something like this and uh, let's count all the all the dp uh, all the possible dps counts out of this node we won't even count i won't even count this node but okay it's like 5 million dps here and uh, if we upgrade our just two flame hours and two lsa's we already have 20.2 million dps and uh, plus Multiply is by three times because uh, we have three x anti. It something uh, like uh, near three x time, and uh, this means that it's, it's almost 40 million DPS here, and almost 40 million DPS here is already 80 million DPS. And flame hours empowered by destructive pylon out of LSA uh, is uh, five million here, and the five million here, 10 million DPS point uh, two it's 20 million dps uh, plus so we have 100 million dps uh, in one in our node that is killing everything and uh, crowd controlling pretty these two gentlemen are making a huge ton of crowd control actually so even high 500 floors are achievable just with this uh, setup and uh, the the far the far you, you go i recommend you just to buy second uh, yeva Yeva to this setup um, and uh, uh, start to build Yevamon build or Yevlamon build without fissures, just with uh, reflect beam, proton beams, and just uh, watch my previous guides they, where I show uh, Yevlamon build uh, or old guys with Yevamon build, uh, it doesn't matter. You will need Yevamon build with your same damage dealers, actually, Flame Aura and LSA, and it can stay like you made it in this video like i made it like with anti it's okay but for this you start to grow your boost aura and uh, with your proton destructive pylon inside your proton your lsa starts to be bigger if because if you put uh, out destructive pylon and put destruction here it comes buffed out of destruction and destructive pylon as well uh, because destruction is uh, 42 persons and destructive pylon gives only uh, 33 persons uh, to damage and uh, it won't stack with destructive pylon out of somewhere so you build yevlamon, yevlamon build uh, proton reflect boost aura you start to build power boost aura like i show here Destruction appear with power and power, diverse power, diverse critical damage. Uh, instead of power, you should replace critical damage. But uh, here, I don't really um, get a lot out of this power. It doesn't matter for me. Either I get power or critical damage, it doesn't matter. And uh, on the other hand, we have a second monk, not just for flame aura to overcome defense rate, for just or either Kursikaze lanes or some. Um, Cyber planes and of course frost lanes. We have boost tower, second boost tower that is pure, made for boosted grasps. It has three times uh, uh, defense range, defense range to your right. Fisher strikes uh, got out of prime incursions. Delta strikes three times range, it's maximum and boosted grasps. The main, uh, the other. Uh, doesn't matter, you can leave free uh, uh, empty to nodes, I just uh, put tenacity here and uh, the last could be empty and this is for some lanes that can be slowed like flyer lanes uh, it's brilliant for flyer lanes when you have 2000 range and inside inside this big boost tower uh, every single enemy start to uh, fly very very slow and uh, more than two times slower and uh, made these flame auras literally get double double damage because they start to kill uh, them two times longer but uh, i think it's even more than two times uh, it's equivalent to mo uh, more than uh, two times more damage because we have sometimes limits of uh, 10 uh, units that can be made killed by flame hours and so on so on so uh, this two divide di uh, divide 
two Monk, uh, one from Mon Mon Tank, and second from Monk DPS. Uh, divide uh, divide uh, Flame Auras to DPS Flame Auras with my destruction destruction to overcap defense rate, uh, and uh, we divide two different boost towers, one for pure the uh, pure power, and uh, second for just boosted grasp three uh, x range. So we sometimes can put uh, even boost tower, uh, power boost tower somewhere. And right near we can put a uh, boost tower that slows. So this boost tower um, can greatly, greatly increase damage of the flame hour, like was 5 million, 9, 9 million, and uh, LSA. But still, we have near 2000 range boosted grasps that slows everything that comes inside and that's heavy heavy and the, all that is with petrify combo is like brilliant so that's it for a second beginner's guide feel free to leave your comments uh, first of all you need two monks you need flame aura plus lsa you need mass destruction mass destruction and destructive pylon and start to building your Yevlamon build and slowly 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 gathering and uh, in next video i will show i will tell you one where will be the exact moment when you uh, re uh, replace your anti with diversities like you just will go and replace everywhere we have anti you will replace diversities like in like a boost aura and this will make you uh, come uh, stop being uh, in process of easy to start model of the game and you will uh, finally uh, turn into real master with diversities that uh, have exponential growth and uh, i will have uh, uh, upcoming guide soon with uh, uber dps stream uh, where you can break the game literally and uh, no one can understand right now in the official discord you know that uh, how how can you make such big numbers that i i already made and will make now my ubers uber dps stream so thank you uh, everyone feel free to join our discord where we can discuss something uh, that you missed uh, misunderstood goodbye